Welcome back to another Construct video, and in this video we're looking at one thing and one thing only today, and that is achievements. So, let's get started. So in this mini demo I've put together three achievements, but you could easily put together more. So the three achievements are pressing the spacebar, collecting a stick, and taking out all three bandits. Now one thing I'm really happy with and want to work on with this achievement system is making sure that if you collected multiple achievements at the same time, all of them would trigger but one after another. We're using something called a queue for this and we'll explain that a little bit later. So let's take out two of our bandits. And then what we need to do is we need to take out a bandit, get the stick and hit spacebar really quickly just to show you how that all works. So there's one and hit the spacebar and now they're gonna trigger one after another. So I defeated the bandits first. I then collected the sticks so that will pop up next. And again, we could make this animation a bit quicker as well, if this is not preferable for you. And then finally we hit the spacebar. So there's our three achievements done. On top of that, if I hit the spacebar more times, nothing happens. And if I collect any more sticks, nothing happens as well. So there's a check to see have we claimed the achievement already before it tries to give us the achievement again. So how does all this code work? The only big thing that we need is the achievement itself. And this is made up of four components. So we've got the actual text that appears. We've got the little tiny circle that appears. We've got the trophy that appears. And then the banner that appears as well. And getting this all to work is actually one of the more trickier parts, even though the code itself isn't very tricky. So let's have a look at that code. So we start by setting all the values to their default values. So this is moving them either to zero size or zero opacity, so they're invisible or moving them back to their original position as some of these components do move during the animation. We then use the tween animation to show off our first circle icon, moving its size to 75, 75 over a second and the trophy to 50, 50. So again, that will make it expand over time. We then move all of the stuff to the left hand side. So it's ready for the text to be placed. We can then show the text. Then we have to move the icon back to the center again before it disappears. In terms of code, it's nothing difficult. It's just a lot of the tween behavior. It's just getting all your timings worked out and getting all the stuff moved to the correct position. That does take quite a bit of time to set that up. In terms of the rest of the codes, the rest of the code works by using a file. So if we scroll down, we've got a file called achievements.json. And this is what it looks like. This is handling all our achievements. So we've got the achievement name and have we claimed it yet? So at the moment, it's set to false. Now you can definitely add more achievements to this. So we could create a new one and we'll create a new one for this video. So let's say, press the A button. So that's the name of our achievement. And at the moment, we've not currently claimed it. So it's going to be false. You see that on start of layout, we're requesting that JSON file. And then the moment that it's loaded, we're loading that into an array called achievements. So how do we get an achievement to trigger? So I've got this at the bottom, trigger achievements. And all we need to do is add something to the bottom of this. So I'm gonna add a new trigger achievement and you can do this elsewhere in the code, by the way, it's just, I've put it into a nice little group, but we're gonna do keyboards on key pressed and then we'll use the A key. So have I pressed the A key? And then we're gonna use this code here, Q push back and then the number. And what we mean by the number is the number on the side here. So number three, and we just go back onto here, onto the X axis. So Q is a special array that we've got. And what this does is every time that we get an achievement, instead of ticking it straight away off in our achievement array, it adds it to this Q. What the Q is going to do is check if an achievement's playing. If it's not playing, it's going to trigger the next achievement in the Q. This is how we're able to have three achievements play all at the same time, but they don't interrupt each other. So we're gonna go to Q, scroll down, I'm going to do push on the back. Again, the value for this one's going to be three because in our achievement file, it is number three. So moving up to our queue code, we check if the queue is not empty, which means it's like inside our queue. And if there's not an achievement playing and this achievement not playing is something that we change the false at the end of an achievement and change the start at the start of an achievement. Um, I also don't mention, but we've got a bit of an Xbox sound we play as well, just at that point there. And then if so, we call the achievement function, which is this long big function up here. Again, now changing this to true, so the next Q item can't play. We also change the achievement value to true here. 
and this only triggers if that achievement is set to false. So we're not getting multiple achievements triggered if we pick up wood multiple times, we press the spacebar multiple times. And then once that's done, we pop the front value off our queue. So whatever's at the front is now gone. And then this whole thing repeats again. The only final bit of code that I've got on here is just to say if I'm overlapping the bandits, destroy them, because I've got to check to see if the bandit count equals zero to check for that achievement and just flipping the play around left and right. So I'm not doing a tutorial properly on this. I just want to show you my code and the code will be available in the description. So if you want to try this out for yourself, you can. But again, this is just a really, really simple achievement system that actually doesn't require a lot of code. And again, could be customized. So if you don't want the sort of Xbox style logo, you could also do a different style logo as well. But if you've enjoyed this video, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video.